All right, good evening, everybody, and welcome to South Christian High School for a South Christian game versus Cedar Springs in an OK Gold battle. Starting lineup. Starting lineup for South Christian. Number, number three. Excuse me, for uh, Cedar Springs. I apologize. Number two, Ella Peck. She's a sophomore. Also, Faith Carlson, a sophomore, number 12. Grace Carlson, number 22, a senior. And number 23, a junior, Poet Schooneman. And running out the lineup, Marissa Giras. South Christian, number three, Lizzie Walters, sophomore. Number 10, Cami Boonstra, junior. Number 12, Sophia Prince, sophomore. Number 21, Lily Nett, junior. And rounding out the lineup, number 24, Ashley Thomasma, a senior. Well, we've got a, uh, first of all, it's Tom Johnson here and Scott Scrotemore here to bring this game to you. We're, we're glad to be here at South Christian High School on this Thursday night, a little bit different time of, for a varsity basketball game. Usually they're on Tuesdays or Fridays, but I think the due to some of the bad weather that we had uh, earlier in January, they had to rearrange a number of games, is okay. the way I understand it. Um, both these teams come in with you know solid records, just above 500 is what I've been told. Uh, looking forward to a good game. The other interesting thing we noted when we looked at our starting lineups is uh, both teams have uh, a number of underclassmen, only one senior starting on each team. Uh, Cedar Springs has three sophomores starting and South has two sophomores starting. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out here in the game. First game uh, that they played oh, about a month ago, Cedar won in a very close game. So we're expecting another good game tonight. All right, Peck, she's gonna see if she can start it all over. She's a, looks like a good sophomore guard to me. Gets tripped up a little bit by Boomstra there. What I've been told is South Cedar Springs plays tough D. So I'm gonna make a prediction, Tom. We're gonna have a game in the, in the high 30s, low 40s. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Looks like South's Jirash. playing some pretty good D out there as well. Jirash couldn't get it in. Carlson. She's the only senior, as you mentioned, on Cedar Springs, starting anyway. Got the weave going. Rebounded by Thomas Mark. Nets gonna pull it up. Of course, no shot clock here in high school, and I noticed that Cedar took about a minute on that first possession, so. Prince over to Thomas Ma, working it around to Waltice. Boom, Ma. Prince is going to drive the lane, going nice. to have a layup. Got yep, it. There it is. Two nothing South. Go. South, Go. three quarter pressure, full court pressure. Cedar Springs breaks it fairly easily, oh, but yes. enough to cause some troubles there, right? Boy, they had a nice, uh, nice setup there for a layup, but a little over-anxious pass right at the end. Threw it away. I guess we could call that early game jitters. Yeah, but that full court pressure just got him a little bit, maybe rushed a little bit too, potentially. Waltice, got it. Nice driving bucket. Nice driving bucket there. Good defense there by uh, Nitz. Pass underneath. Nice defense. 
Prince. Kind of picked up the ball a little bit too early there. Peck. Kind of high off the glass and a good rebound by Walteich. She's going to run with it. Gonna, yeah. yeah, I think he was in danger of a 10 second call and uh, Coach Brown decided to call a timeout. Probably a good timeout, it was gonna be tough. Yep. Well, this might be, this is probably the last game for in a while between South Christian and Cedar Springs. I think so. Because uh, of the new, uh, new conference realignment beginning next year. And <laughs> Cedar will be completely out of the uh, OK Conference next year. That's right. They, they're one of the seven or eight schools that joined. Um, I don't know what they're going to call the that. River thing. something. Yeah. We'll call it the River North because they're all on the north side of Grand Rapids. Yeah. Prince. Nitz, she can shoot that. Boomstra. Nope. Short. Rebound by. Oh, good. Surprised they didn't call that. Yeah. Little physical, little push. Gonna let him play, I guess. Let him play. Good nice D by Waltice there. Thomas, my thought about it. To Prince. To Waltice. Oh, nope, threw it away. Yeah, a little miscommunication there. Oh, interestingly, they gave the ball back here to South. I didn't see a tip on that. Ooh, I think that might have been a, I'm gonna, that might be the first, I didn't see that either. Uh, but South, I think might have got a break there. Peck, she's a little pesky Peck, isn't she? You yes. know? Plays some good defense. Has a good nose for the ball. Skur into the game. Prince, ooh, I thought she had the lane there. Waltheis, I think she's going to take it to the hole. There, beautiful. Nice bucket. Waltheis, I think, with a, with a great start to this game. Oh, wow. Waltheis with a nice block there. She has played some nice defense under the bucket. A couple of blocks. Yeah, nice bucket there by... Nice bucket by Hookwater right there, boy. Great start for South Christian as they come out with an 8-0 lead. 8-0 lead, all uh, all four buckets have been have been layups. So they're getting that ball inside nicely. Want to thank our sponsors, Byron Township, a community on the move, and Gaines Charter Township. Thank you for your support of community television. Want to like a copy of today's game? Not a problem. Get a hold of us, 878-6781, or through our website, www.byrontv.com. Blu-rays, 15 bucks, DVDs, 10. Again, 878-6781. So we'll see what adjustments uh, Cedar makes here. And we'll see if uh, South stays in that press that seems to be bothering Cedar just a bit. We will Yep. Look, we'll see what looks happens. Looks like they're going to be pressing. I would keep it up.
Yeah, when it, to break a pet to break a press, you just need a few good passes. Yes. But one bad pass kind of screws you all up, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I'm going to get Hookwater with it. I think, yeah, a little body. Good D. They're, they're playing with heart tonight, no doubt. Yep. Good defense. South's definitely not giving an easy entry pass here. You're tough, Conroy. All right. Cedar Springs still looking for their first bucket with three minutes to go here in quarter number one. Well, what we heard was Cedar Springs plays tough defense. South Christian's playing tough defense tonight. Yes, they are. Waltice back out to Prince. Prince is the kind of the point guard, generally speaking. Waltice trying to drive again, got clogged up that time. Good defense there on Cedar with a steal. Taking it all the way. Yeah, good move there. Good move. Their bucket first, by Carlson. Their first bucket, nice move. Skur, cross court to Walti. She'll shoot that. A little bit long, I think. Yep. A little blocking call. It's the third foul on South Christian. As as. You know, the little different foul rules in high school basketball this year. Five. After five, the fifth foul is when you shoot two. No one and one in basketball, and that's per quarter. And that starts over each quarter, yep. right? And we're, uh, so no team is in the bonus yet. I think it overall, my guess is it causes less free throws to be taken. I don't know, that's just my guess. I, can, I, I don't think I'm so. Not, because you could potentially have yeah, eight or nine free throws, or eight or nine fouls in a half and not be shooting free throws, mm -hmm. if it worked out that way. Mm -hmm. Stolen by Skur. Helmus. Helmus, and Helmus, she's a freshman. That just got pulled up to the varsity here in the last uh, little bit. Coming in off the bench. If you're a freshman, you got a player, don't you, Tom? You must be. Right. Possession arrow to south on that tie up, so they retain possession. Oh. Tried going inside with that pass, but nicely defended by Cedar Springs. Oh, again, Kyle, ooh, could have maybe called a foul there, but that was good D. 40 seconds to go here. In. Gabby Burgess with some tough D there. Yes. Driving the lane, kind of forcing it up, really. Helmus with the ball. To Nets. Ooh. Oh, it's a good shot. Good shot. Boomstra. Got 13 seconds left. Nice 
That was just the first first foul of the quarter on Cedar Springs. Oh, good pass, Not Got a little foul again. Gonna. I guess you could say they got two fouls to give yet, Tom. You know, before right. it fouls. Right. So it might be good, good strategy to potentially foul one more time. There's the shot. Oh, good try. Burgess just missed that one. End of the first quarter. South Christian eight. Cedar Springs two. We're well on the way to my high 30 prediction for scores tonight. Yep. Well, the way South started, I thought that uh, they might be pushing that a bit, but they've cooled just a bit the last few minutes here. Um, the thing, another thing that struck me about the first quarter is I haven't seen Cedar putting it up from the outside at all yet. No. It'd be interesting to see if that strategy maybe changes a little bit. They seem intent on pushing that ball in. Um, right. And Cedars also had a number of times when they've been pressed and have gotten the ball down court successfully, but then um, they're just maybe a pass shy of, of getting what the shot they want for a exactly. layout. So credit a little defense to South there right exactly. at the end. Starting lineup for South is in now. Carlson. <laughs> Come out. Oh, ah. That was a little awkward looking shot, but uh, view with the bucket. They did take it outside. They listened to you, Tom. They, they, they took a little listen. Be interesting to see if they stay with that. Uh, a little uh, disagreement from the Cedar Springs side here. They Slightly they late some. call, too. But South took it inside for a layup. And, uh, well, yeah, they did call a foul, didn't they, Scott? They did. Shooting foul. Yeah. We're still hearing it from the Cedar Scott, not agreeing with that call, but well, one of those tough calls. Somebody drives, takes it in, they're right up by the bucket, and I think there was a foul there. Nice free throw shooting. Two of two for Prince. Oh. It's uh, Coach Coach Caramel decided that uh, not in a good position there on the floor and uh, he called the timeout. So yep. he did. Ten to five here, early second quarter. Um, we want to thank our sponsors once again. We have uh, our sponsors this evening are Byron Township, our community on the move, and also Gaines Charter Township. Thank you very much for your sponsorship. Appreciate that. So let's see if Cedar with possession thinks about another outside shot. Right now they just did a nice deep inbound in. Looking down low. Nice oh, shot. Nice bucket there by uh, Grace Carlson. 10 7. I'm sure that South is looking for some, uh, some points here. Had a good shot there, but didn't go in. Get it back, Will. Get it back, Will. 
South doing some pressing defense here. They've done that most of the game so far. Three on go. one break. Wow, three on one, and that's not what you want. Coach Caramel wanted. Nope. Prince stolen by Carlson. Jump ball. Cedars, the South Christian ball. South Christian possession, yes. Yeah, I think that Cedar has definitely tightened that defense up. South's not getting the nice, easy layups that we saw early in the first quarter. Changed, I think, I think they changed to a man-to-man, -man too, which helped. Good defense. Gets it out to Peck. Peck's the little point guard. Carlson. Down low to Skunaminski. Turns. We're going to foul. Or jump ball. Cedar Springs ball. I think that was a good call. Yes. Oh, I think she yeah, Scooter want to call there. I think she had a beef. Yes. South's been playing some pretty tough defense inside tonight. Carlson gonna drive the lane. I think she's got a little shot, missed it. Stolen. Yeah. Up and good. I think it was a good steal. Yes. 10-9. Got a ball game, Tom. Mm -hmm. Walt Ice looking down low. She's kind of quieted down a little bit. Drives, misses it. Rebounding Cedar Springs. Peck. She does a nice job of bringing that ball down quickly. Second foul on this quarter on... Uh, Not in for uh, Hookwater. That was a little uh, anxious to get in. Yeah, it didn't really go to the scorer's table. Kind of forgot second. to get to the scorer's table, but they got her checked in the way she needed to be, so. Scoot him in. Yeah. Did you see that one, I did Scott? not see that, but. <laughs> I'm looking at that. Not too much argument by uh, Coach Carmel, so. I was uh, surprised. I thought she made a nice shot there, but suddenly they Must have called a foul. Did a push off as she went down. Right. Matt, back to Burgess, out to Skirt. Prinz drives the lane, got it. Nice, nice drive. Bomb. Oh, oh, my. I guess we'd call that one a soft bomb. It just bound around nicely up on the rim. South Christian's calling timeout with here look, just under four minutes to go in quarter number two. 12-12 12, 12 game. Tie ball game. 12-12. 12, 12. Wow. We're, we're on pace for a tight game, and we're on pace for the 
high 30 outcome. So yep. Yep. we uh, if we only knew what we were doing like this most of the time, Tom, but we don't, you know? Yep. So. Yeah, I don't know. South, that, that last bucket they got was a nice layup too. You know, they were, again, early in the first quarter, getting inside much easier, much a number of layup buckets, but then they've been harder to cut by. But the last bucket South got was another nice lay in, so. Right. I'm trying to, you know, dis it's an interesting setup this year for how districts work. What I mean by that is always, in, what I remember in previous years, the girls' districts, the girls' tournament started a week before the boys. Correct. Okay? Yes. Not this year. No. It's the opposite. And uh, believe it or not, Tom, I got to be careful what I say on television. It's something to do with equal rights. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was that, huh? Mm -hmm. That's what I read about. So mm -hmm. so that all means mm -hmm. that, so then the boys' basketball season will be done first? One week earlier. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, it's just interesting to me. I don't know how that has any, I need, somebody smart like you has got to tell me how that helps equal rights. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. don't be looking to me because I'm not sure. Just because they're playing a week later, that helps them in, I, I don't, I, I just don't get it, Tom, I'm sorry. Oh. Nope. So maybe I'm missing something. But you're pretty sure on that though, huh? Well, I'm Scott? sure about that. I'm sure yeah. that, it's, that it's a week later, okay? I'm not sure of the reasoning, but that's what I've been told. So mm -hmm. what's traditionally happened is the girls' season's always started a week before the guys. Um, mm -hmm. One of the reasons has been that football with the guys, you know? So guys started a week earlier this year. Okay. All right, 12-12 here, a little over three minutes to go. It's Prince driving to Nat. Oh. Walthice picks it up. Burgess, back out to Prince. Waltice thought about it. She thought about it. She had a good shot there to take, but decided not to. Stolen by Cedar Springs. They got number, they got it. Carlson. Oh, good block. Nice defense. Saved the bucket there. No doubt. Two eighteen left in the half. Twelve twelve. Peck looking to get it in. Carlson, she's kind of the leader of this team, it almost feels like. Yes. Along with her sophomore guard here, Peck, who's got the does a nice job. Driving the lane, she's got a little a little angle, missed it. South ball. Well, yeah, South's district does start the week of um, the first week of March, uh, which would be March three. And do you know where they're playing? They're playing right at, at right here as the host in the district. Okay. Um, so that's actually week, it's March 4 is that Monday. And they're in a district with Hamilton, Holland Christian, Wayland, and Kentwood Grand River Prep. Wayland, I've been told, is fighting for the conference championship right now with Catholic Central. Okay. And, and this is kind of a game for third place, is what I've been told. Okay. 12-12 here, minute 35 to go. Now in districts, I know they're, they have a, they're seeding a first 
the first spot. Are they seeding any deeper than that? Do you know, Scott? I thought they kind of seeded them all, but I may be wrong about that. You know what I mean? I bet okay. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure. It's a good question. I know they do the, they do the top seed. Good steal by Thomas, huh? Well, less than one minute to go here in quarter number two, and we got a good one. 12 12. Prince going to set it up. Gets it to Thomas, huh? Over to Boomsma. Boonstra. Oh, driving the lane. Got it. Going to be th going yeah. for the old fashioned one. Got an opportunity to take a three point lead. Prince has done that a few times today. Boy, they have been stuck on 12 here for quite some time, Scott. No, no buckets for a while. Yes, Scott. South has an opportunity to go up three here. 42 seconds to go in quarter number two. Nope. Missed yeah. that one. Oh, almost stolen there by Prince. Carlson. That one's going to be stolen. And only got a bucket to Prince, I think, if they can get it to her, and she does. 16-12. Boy, that defense picked it up nicely there for them. Presses has caused some problems. Oh, oh, yeah, that was a little over the back. Just the third foul of the half, so... Yeah, and here's a good example. I don't know, has there been any, outside of shooting fouls, has there been any fouls at the foul line tonight? I don't think no. so. No, nope. I think that rule does eliminate fouls in general. Or, or foul shots, I'm sorry. Yeah, we're down to 16 seconds in the half yeah. here. So Carlson. I don't think we'll get the five well, foul. Well, she's got an open shot, missed it. All right, South's gonna have an opportunity for a one last shot. Only got four seconds to go. Coach Brown is kind of signaling some place, uh, potential thought process and getting a shot off. And it's not going to be Springs much. Wisely was not giving South an easy inbound there. So, yeah. well, hey, we got a good competitive, low-scoring first half with the South Christian ahead, 16 to 12, and we're looking forward to the second half. And we'll see you in a little bit. As the voice of Michigan's student athletes, the Student Advisory Council's role is to convey the message of how high school sports should be played. We are responsible for helping the MHSAA maintain a positive and healthy atmosphere in which interscholastic athletes can thrive. We believe that athletes should be competitive, sportsmanlike, and excel academically. We believe that students in the stands should have fun, but not take away the focus from the game. We believe coaches should act like teachers. Helping student athletes develop while still keeping high school sports in perspective. We believe that parents should always be positive role models and support their child's decisions. We believe officials commit their own time to high school sports. And respect should always be shown and given to them. The most important goal for student athletes is to enjoy high school sports while keeping a high level of respect between all those involved in the games. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the game. game. Welcome back here to South Christian High School on this Thursday night in February when it's 55 degrees outside. Oh, my goodness. Actually, 58, Scott. Okay, sorry. But we I figured, got all I figured the way it was a little lower right now, though, Tom. Yeah, okay. it's a little lower tonight. But so we I'm, got I'm all the way up say to 55. 58 today, which didn't quite set a record <laughs> in Grand Rapids. But Kalamazoo and Muskegon both got 60 or 61, so they set records. Who would have guessed? Wow. All right. Waltice to Prince. Start to hear the third quarter. 16-12, South Christian. Low scoring game as we kind of thought. Thomas Ma. Thomas was in pretty quiet tonight. Got a foul call. I was it Booster going to the or Thomas Ma going to the line? I think so. Nope, not a shooting. Not a shooting. To 
Oh, good Boom, pass inside. Nips. Oh, oh missed it. He had a good shot. It just didn't want to go in the hoop. Carlson, the sophomore. I'm going to guess the two Carlsons are sisters. Yes, Tom. I, I think mean, so. They, you can tell it. I mean, we haven't been told that. But I am confident that's the case. Stolen. Oh, there could have been a foul called there, I thought. Yes, yeah, somebody sitting right behind us is agreeing with you, Scott. I think so. Nitz, Thomasma. Oh, just missed it. Boonstra. Waltice trying to drive. On the floor. Out of bounds, South Christian ball. Excuse me, Cedar Pastrain's ball. South Christian ball. I'm going to get it right one of these times. Waltice thought about it. Prince, Thomas Moon. Cedar's guards do a nice job of being pesky out there on the perimeter and uh, not letting South get good looks inside. Uh, South is doing some full court pressure again. Nice passing. Gonna have a layup. Uh, gonna oh. get the old fashioned three opportunity. You know, Cedar Springs has been doing a nice job of getting that pass to break the press. And uh, this time, they made one less pass. Gal did a nice job of bringing it to the hoop and getting the bucket. Schooneman. Missed the three-point opportunity. 16-14 three. south in the lead. South Christian ball underneath their own basket. Oh. Peck handles the ball well for a sophomore. She does. Carlson, oh, nice little move there. Kind of used your body to get the right angle. Got a tie game here, Tom, 16-16. So South Christian, timeout. Wants to talk about what she sees. Sixteen twelve at half, right, Scott? You got it. Well, we want to thank our sponsors. Gaines Township and Byron Township. Thank you for your support. Yeah, we did uh, look at the district assignments for South Christian. They play the, I think I told you they play a week later. I don't think I told you who was all in their district. Uh, but uh, Wayland, Grand River Prep, um, Hamilton and Holland Christian. Right here at South Christian High School the week of March 4. Wayland is gonna be, uh, it's, Probably, if you if you were in Las Vegas, would be the favorite in that district, is the way I've been told. So we'll, we'll see what happens. And South Christian will have the advantage of a little uh, yeah. home court setting for that. And you know what? South Christian's got some talent, Tom. On a given night, I think they can beat beat anybody. I really do. They got. Uh, I think they've had a. Yeah, I think their record's above 500, but a lot of close losses, what I've been told. Oh, oh. Carlson, that she's a pesky one. Skur with the rebound. Mm. Prince. Prince handles the ball well, gets it to Skur. To Thomas. Back out to Waltice. Waltice likes to drive that left side. Thomas one with the open the one. Corner. Missed it. Mm. 
Oh, she's played a little cat and mouse there. Yeah, foul on Thomasma. It's only her first. Team second, as we've mentioned before. You really got to, haven't had, we haven't had many fouls that have been taken outside of the shooting foul just due to the five rule per quarter. Yep, that's right. The first two quarters, neither team got to uh, shoot. Good move. Couldn't quite. Carlson with a nice jumper. The sophomore. Cedar Springs, three point lead. Thomasma. Oh, and she traveled. A little shaken. Burgess is going to go in for Thomasma. Well, we're almost halfway yeah. through the third quarter here, and South has yet to score a point. So, yeah. Thomas Monk there thought about the three, but he, and then Dave Carlson, she's a sophomore, a little short there. <laughs> Boonster's in for Skur. Got it. Second. Four point lead, Cedar Springs. 8 0 run for the uh, Red Hawks here in this quarter. Yes. Boonstra to Helmus. Burgess decided not to shoot it. Prinz driving. She likes to do that. Got it. Nice. Prince has had a nice game tonight. Carlson, she thought about it, gets it to Peck. Peck with a nice shot. Oh, oh nice, nice three-pointer. Cedar Springs has some nice young players, don't they? They do. I mean, that, that Peck is just a sophomore. Mm. That was a beautiful corner shot. Mm. Nice step out on defense with Cedar right there. Had a nice interception, but then it slipped out of her hand. Oh, Prince, with, she's driving that lane tonight and making those nice left-handed layups. 23-20. And just a sophomore there, right, Scott? Exactly. Walt Tyson, Prince, who are two of their, you know, starting five, who are solid starters, got two more years here in the South program. Sailor's kind of playing a zone defense. I think she walked, I believe. Mm. Mm. Prince taking it up. Yeah, she'll shoot that one. Wow. Got it. Wow. Ties it up. 23-23. Great game for Prince tonight. Two minutes in the third quarter to go. Oh, a nice shot oh. there. Reagan Vu, that's her second bomb tonight. That was a two-pointer, though. Walt Ice going to come back in. Two-point lead for Cedar Springs. Scoring has picked up a little bit. Yes, it has. I still predict it in the 30s, Tom. But, I think you're going to be there. But it's yeah. not a given for sure anymore. Oh, I thought she had the corner there, but she didn't take the shot. On the floor, I believe, before the shot, I think. Yes. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. 
Waltice in for Helmus. Waltice. Got it. Nice shot. See if they can match it. Oh, almost so. Let it go, let it go. Minute 11, South's up a point, 26-25. Waltai, she's gonna shoot another one. Missed it. One point lead for Sailors. Little less than one minute to go here in quarter number three. Oh, it kind of the oh. the sea kind of parted and, and, and the lane was open. Yes, yes, and a nice little roll on the rim for two. Waltice drives. Just Cedar's third foul of the quarter. Good defense by uh, Vol. Pesky defense is both ways. Girls are playing good sharp ball out here. Hookwater. That's a nice move. It's a nice move. Very nice. Shoot some three. Got it. Bore it. Nice. Did she call it? Yeah. Yeah. Did she call the, the, the bank? Yeah. Still counts anyway. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Wow. What a great finish. That was, to that, quite a, that was quite a quarter. Quite a quarter. It was like, it was, South was at, had zero points scored for most, for at least half of that third quarter. And then they did score 12 points yet. They scored 12, and uh, Cedar scored 18. My prediction of high 30s is in serious jeopardy. <laughs> they, uh, both teams have definitely heated up here in the third, and a uh, little more entertaining, like that last shot even, for example. So, wow. Nice three-point shot to end the quarter for Cedar Springs. Cedar Springs will get the ball here to start the uh, fourth quarter, up two points. Well, one quick foul to start. Missed it. Cedar Springs with a rebound. Oh, that's uh, that, that. two buckets from the same spot for number 22, Grace Carlson. Carlson. Yes. She's got six points in the last uh, 30 seconds here. Waltice, got it! <laughs> Mm 
33-31. Carlson drives. Yeah, got the body on that one, I think. Shooting foul. Grace Carlson, excuse me, Faith Carlson. She's a sophomore. <laughs> Second one. Good. Good. Four point lead, Cedar Springs. Seven minutes to go here in quarter number four. And the scoring has picked up a lot. Boonstra to Prince. Prince has had a fantastic game. Nice, oh, there nice. it is. Oh, oh, and Hookwater missed the little bunny. She's made some tougher shots on that tonight. They want that one back. That's Prince's third foul. Not too much to worry about here in the fourth quarter. Stolen by Thomas Mo. I think wisely held it out there. Prince to set it up. A lot of room for driving. Foul. Before the shot. Before the shot, yes. First foul on Cedar Springs. Foul called again on Cedar Springs. They're calling a little closer, it seems like, right now. Second foul this quarter on Cedar Springs. Better watch the five second call here. Whoa, nice. Nice defense there on South. Stripped the ball away. Boonster with a nice. Nice steal. Prince, yeah. just shoot that one. Oh, oh, in and out. In and out. You know, Scott, the way things are going with fouls here in the fourth, I think we're going to be in a different position here, too. We'll be seeing some, some, uh, some shooting from the free throw lane line more than we've seen earlier tonight. Boonstra with a couple of nice steals recently. Yeah. Waltice. Gets it into Prince. Mostly guarded by Carlson. Prince, oh, got fouled, be shooting two. And like you said, Tom, the next foul that South commits will be a two shot foul because of it being the fifth foul. Yes, right. 
Prinz shooting two because it's shooting. Two nice Good. free throws. Yeah, two point game. Nice steal. Thomas went with a nice bucket there. High ball game. Ooh, I think they could have called a foul there. They did call one there. Yeah, I think that's a good foul. Waltice with a foul there called. Coach uh, Carmel is. He's, she's been talking to the refs quite a bit tonight. <laughs> yes. Second one is good. Free throw shooting has been solid for uh, both teams tonight yes. when they've gotten the line. Yes, nicely done by Schooneman there. Two more, two more buck, buckets from the free throw line. Mm, timeout South. That's uh, South. We have one more, one more left. South's going to have one more left. And let's summarize the game here. We've got four minutes and 25 seconds to go in, in regulation time. I think we could potentially talk about overtime. I think that's definitely a possibility. And then my high 30s is definitely not going to work. <laughs> prediction. I'm almost. I'm in jeopardy already. You are. Okay. Um, yeah. They, so, yeah, we got four minutes, 25 seconds. Uh, Cedar Springs with a two-point lead. South Christian has the ball. South Christian has one timeout left, and Cedar Springs has three. Well, these are teams that are evenly matched. There's no doubt about it. They are. They are. But as we were talking a little earlier this evening, after this year, they'll no longer be in the same conference. So it could be a while before uh, Cedar Springs is playing another game in this gym. Yeah, I would, you know, it'd be interesting. Obviously, there's still going to be non-conference games, right? Yep. Um, but if I remember the league, it's it's at least, I think it's eight teams in the league, okay? So that means you have 14 conference games and you only have room for six non-conference games. Yeah. Right. Assuming you play 20. Um, but interesting how that all develops. Mm. Waltheis looking to drive, nothing there. Oh, yeah. Over and back. Wow. I, I th thought they could have followed a foul there. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think there was a push there. But it didn't get called. Carlson. Oh man, almost made that bucket. It was a little wild, but uh, almost made it. I think she knew where she was. Yep. Prince, she's kinda. She kinda wanted to drive, she loves to do it, but it just wasn't quite there for her that time, Prince. Wow. 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 That was, a, I think it was a prayer that was answered, is what I think that was. <laughs> but, I mean, nothing to take away from. It was a nice entry pass, and she took a good shot. Oh, a steal with South. And a two point lead. And they're up two. Back, 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 back up. Yeah, Coach Carmel needs to call a timeout now. I think she does. It's, it, it's 
you know, Cedar's been burned a number of times tonight. They've gotten the ball nicely down against the press, but then that last pass has gotten them in trouble. Ooh. Oh, Schooneman's got the lane. Missed it. Prince, a little over two minutes to go with a two-point lead. Thomas Boy in the corner. Back out to Prince. Boonstra missed it. Minute 56 left to go in the game. South is up 39-37. And Cedar takes a timeout. Well, we want to thank our sponsors one last time. Byron Township, a community on the move. And Gaines Township, thank you for your support of community television here at BCTV. If you want more information on sponsorships, call us. Call us at 878-6781. We'd love to have you be a sponsor of community television as well. Sponsorship rates are affordable, tax deductible, and help bring you an even more community oriented content. So please uh, consider a, a sponsorship, benefit our community. We'd appreciate it, thank you. Well, Scott, you know, you weren't too far off when you called a game in the 30s. That's right where we are at yeah, the moment. Yeah, but by the time it's done, it's going to be in the it's going to be in the 40s. I, I, I I'm pretty sure. Yes, I think so. Boy, both of these teams, when you see how many sophomores and juniors they have playing, I think they're both um, looking forward to good future years as yeah, well. Yeah, and, and both have had solid years, Tom. Like I said, there's like yeah. third. They're fighting for thir like third in the OK Gold right now, OK? Um, both with better than 500 records. You can see why. They got talent. Both of these teams do. Yes, yeah, they do. They do. I think South's coach's advice was get a good shot. And uh, they're, you know, and no, no need to do anything well, quickly. we're going to have a tie game here in a minute. Here we go. But there it is. Tie ball game, minute 22 to go. Prince driving the lane to Boonstra. Oh, in and out. And uh, Thomas with a nice rebound. Nice Did rebound. not get boxed out. Minute five to go. So, minute five to go. Kind of up to yeah, full court man to man pressure here. Kind of, which they've kind of done a good portion of the game. In trouble over there. Oh, they called a foul. Be shooting. Be shooting two. Could tie yes. the game. They had her trapped. They had her right where they wanted her. Yep, she was trapped in the corner, but a uh, little too aggressive. Foul two, called. Two pressure free throws right here. First one's up, good. And with that, Mr. Scrotenboer's call for 30-point is gone. <laughs> not, the, not the last time I'll be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Four. Oh. Tie game. This thing might end up in the 50s yet because we might go into double overtime. Could be. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. 55 seconds, tie ball game. If you're South Christian, you take the last shot, Tom? I don't think so. It's too much no, time. they won't. Would you agree? Yes, it's three. too long. I respect your opinion, Tom, so well, I, I appreciate it. I think mm. South was a little too mm. patient, you know, and they had a two-point mm. lead but was looking for too good a shot and uh, had a steal. Now, Co now, now we got 33 seconds. Now it gets to be a little more interesting. I don't know if they can uh, salt away 33 seconds. What do you think, Scott? The in no, it, it's dangerous. Yeah. The interesting thing is, is that Cedar Springs has a foul to give here. Okay. They do. They do. So if you're, if you're Coach, Coach Caramel, you might think of, you know, fouling with about seven, eight seconds to go. You know what I mean? Yep. So they got to just start all over yep. at that point. Right. Now, that's 26 seconds from game time playing. But um, well been an excellent game two well coached teams no doubt Thomas been the prince be interesting what uh, coach uh I mean, if you got a good shot, you're going to take it, aren't you? Oh, boy. Oh, and they fouled him. And it's going to be two shots. You know, Scott, we've done several games together this year, and mm. I don't know that we've seen um, five or more fouls in a quarter <laughs> you know, like this. But, boy. It, well, and it's the fourth quarter of this game before it really came into play. It and really it, is coming into play here. Oh, my goodness. And the bank was called again. South doesn't have any time. Interesting comment here too, Tom. South has zero timeouts left. Okay. Yes. Um, I wish I think Coach Brown wishes she had one. We got a one-point game here, so. And again, South is uh, will not be shooting. Oh, but they will be shooting two. All right. They didn't call it a shooting foul, so no, they there called you go. traveling. Called it traveling. Oh my goodness. Traveling. So if you're Coach Brown, you gotta foul right away, right? Maybe yes. maybe not right away, try to get the steal. And then but you gotta But quite soon, absolutely. Cannot afford to let too much time go off that clock. Forty two forty one, Cedars ahead. Tom, when I started the prediction at the beginning of the night, didn't I say high 30s, low 40s? <laughs> you may have. We'll have to, you know, have to ask our replay booth to run that back for us. <laughs> See what could be, Scott. Could be. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a real good one. We'll give you that. Well, yes, I think you're right. South either gets a, a quick steal here or they got a quick foul. Recap it, everybody. 42-41, Cedar Springs. There's one. Uh, a foul on South get, not, does not get them into the one-on-one, -on -one, gets them into the, boy, I don't. They've got a foul here. They did. And I don't think you wanted to foul her either, you know. No, nope. I would have. I would have followed the uh, the sophomore or the you know, because not both good players. Peck and so Peck and Carlson, good players. Don't get me wrong. Okay. Yep. But uh, here we've got Grace Carlson going to the line, senior. Now it's also just important to note Prince just fouled out, but she had to She had to do it. You know, I mean, you didn't want more time to go off the clock. First one's good. 
Now, if you're Cedar Springs, I think you foul fairly quickly because they got a foul to give. I would agree with you, definitely. We'll see if they if they follow my advice. And they're well, up three. Oh, a long shot. They missed it. Three seconds to go. Now it's going to be really tough. Well, they needed three points, but I don't think that was the three-point shot no, they were looking it for. Was, it was four or five feet past the line. And, uh, uh, you know, wasn't in rhythm. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Near downtown Byron Center. A little too far out. There's the game. Good game, though. Cedar Springs comes out victor in another close game for Cedar Springs over South Christian. I guess it was the same kind of game at Cedar Springs about a month ago. Yep. Give the credit to the Red Hawks. Good, good game played by both. Yep. It was good to be with you tonight, Tom. Yep. And as we brought this Sailor basketball game here from South Christian. Hey, again, thanks for joining us here on BCTV. And on behalf of Tom Johnson and Scott Strotenborg and BCTV, have a good night. Final score, South, South Christian 41, Cedar Springs the winner at 44. Have a good night.